Conventional robots, like those you've likely seen in manufacturing or assembly lines, rely on rigid, jointed structures. Their movements are precise and repetitive, perfect for object manipulation tasks. But what about cases requiring complicated object maneuvering in a confined and curved space? In these cases, conventional robots just don't cut it. So how can scientists redefine robots and broaden their utility? The answer may lie within a new field known as continuum robotics. But what are continuum robots? And what sets them apart from their conventional counterparts? Continuum robots are characterized by an absence of rigid links or joints. The name continuum signifies a vital feature, their curved structure. These devices are compliant to external forces and possess infinite degrees of freedom for more organic movement compared to conventional robots. The movement of continuum robots is inspired by biological structures, like an elephant's trunk. Just as an elephant uses its trunk to maneuver around obstacles to reach a piece of fruit, continuum robots are well suited for tasks that require intricate navigation, adaptation in complicated environments, and nuanced task handling. The movement of continuum robots is demonstrated well on this tendon-driven continuum robot. This robot has a flexible sheath with tendons running throughout. The smallest unit on a continuum robot that performs movement is called a segment. Fundamentally, continuum robots are capable of up to four basic movements. Segments move independently to bend, contract, extend, or twist. To increase the range of motion of a continuum robot, segments can be stacked on top of each other and individually controlled. Stacking segments can allow the robot to create intricate shapes and combine movements to perform difficult tasks. Many other continuum robotic designs exist, each capable of some or all of the four basic movements. One design in particular has a nested elastic tube structure and can be made very small, allowing it to be useful for delicate tasks like surgery. Continuum robot surgical devices can increase efficiency and minimize invasiveness during medical procedures, such as pituitary resection. Pituitary resection is a procedure performed to remove pituitary gland tumors, which are located at the base of the brain. Traditionally, straight and rigid surgical instruments are inserted to allow the surgeon to see inside the body and remove the tumor. However, some patients have nasal passages that make it difficult to manipulate the instruments and access the tumor. The flexible structure of a small-scale continuum robot enables surgeons to more efficiently navigate to the pituitary gland and remove the tumor. This can reduce the invasiveness of the surgery and allow more patients to receive this potentially life-saving care. These applications underscore the transformative potential of continuum robots in advancing surgical practice. And as researchers look to the future, the potential uses of continuum robots stretch far beyond the operating room. Continuum robots can be customized to perform tasks in various industries. In mechanical contexts, such as airplane engine inspection and maintenance, they could allow for easy access to internal parts without disassembly. During industrial pipe inspection, continuum robots could be used to examine pipes for cracks or vulnerabilities. In the harsh environment of outer space, continuum robots could survey the environment and extract samples from otherwise inaccessible areas. Applying continuum robotic technology to industries beyond medicine has the potential to significantly increase human safety, increase efficiency, reduce costs, and allow humans to explore previously unreachable areas. For more details, visit crl.utm.utoronto.ca and explore the Open Continuum Robotics Project for open hardware and software resources, along with detailed insights into continuum robots.